Hello everybody, welcome to the newest YouTube video. So today we're going to be doing the gear assembly. So there are three parts to this. There is the gear, you have your base, and you have your pin. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be making a copy of this file so that we can edit it. So you're going to go over here to the top left, click the make a copy to edit button. Now you're going to name it whatever you'd like. Just keep it as this, that's perfectly fine. Now you'll be you'll see we have our three parts. I already made the parts for us. All we have to do today is just make the assembly. Now the first thing I'm gonna want you guys to do is look down here on the bottom left and click on the little plus sign. Then I want you guys to create assembly. You'll see it over here. It looks like a little block sliding to a Tetris piece. The next thing you want to do, now you'll see we're in our build space here. We're in the assembly view. You see all our tools in the top have changed. Now we're going to want to press the insert key. This will allow us to take our parts into the main build area here. So all you have to do is click, move your mouse over, click get in the build space to drop it. Click, drop. Same thing, not too hard. Sure we can get over it. Press the check mark and it should be good to go. Now, the first thing you want to do is you'll do a nice center of your screen, and it helps if you move some of your parts out of the way, almost like setting up uh, your pieces in a Lego set. Very similar concept here. Now, the first thing you want to do, it's pretty important. Make sure you right-click the part and press Fix. This will anchor it in place, and it can no longer be moved, as you can see by the little icon on the left. So the first thing we want to do is put our pin into the hole over here. So we're going to click on the cylindrical mate in the top left here. Then you're going to click on the outer rounded surface here, as you can see the one that is highlighted. And then you're going to go over here and click on this inner surface and you'll see it'll move in. But one thing you'll notice is uh, the notch on the pin or the key, as other people call it, is on towards the outside of the part. We want it facing towards the inside, so we're just going to click the flip primary axis button and as you can see it is now flip orientated in the right direction so all we have to do is press the check mark and we're good to go now we have to do that for our other side so same concept click on the outer rounded edge zoom in here to the hole click on the inner rounded edge and you'll see it'll do the same thing flip it over press the check mark we're good to go the next thing you want to do is go around here to the back and we want the backs of these pins flush against the surface here. So we're going to click on our planar mate. Now I want you guys to click on the back of the pin. And then I want you to click on the broad side of the base here. As you can see, it will become flush, but it looks a little off. One thing all you have to do is press the solve button to make the preview accurate. Press the check mark and look at that, it is now flush. So now the next two surfaces we want to click, same thing as the other side, the back of the pin. Oh, careful. So make sure you always click on the right surface. There you go. It'll highlight it for you. Click on the base, press solve, check mark. Good to go. Not Nothing too bad so far. Now the next thing we have to do is we are going to be putting the gears onto the pins. So all you have to do is click on the cylindrical mate. Click on this inside face of the gear. As you, with cylindrical mates, we always want to click on curved surfaces. Planar mates is always going to be round. Uh, is always going to be flat surfaces. So here with the cylindrical mate, we're going to click on the inner surface here of the hole, on the outer surface of this pin, and you'll see it'll be in the opposite direction. So we just press the flip primary axis button, and now it is oriented in the right direction. Now I'm going to do that for our other side here. Click on the same thing. Click on the inner face. Go over here to the outer faces our pin, click on it, flip it, press the check mark. Now we're making really good progress so far. So the next thing we want to do is we are going to right click our base and press hide. This is completely optional. Don't worry, it didn't disappear. It's still right here. You can click on the eye here on the left to bring it back. But we are going to hide it for now because it makes it a lot easier to do the next step. So now I want you guys to left click here on the gear and I want you to drag it out some. 
The next thing I'm going to want you guys to do is click on the fastened mate. And then I want you guys to click on this face here. And then the subsequent face on this side. As you can see, it will slot together. Press the check mark. And now if you see, if you try and move it, and the only thing you can do is now rotate. So now all we have to do is do it with the other side. Very similar process. Just drag it out. Rotate it a little bit so that it's somewhat aligned. Now you're going to click your fasten to mate. Click on this inside face here. Go on the corresponding face that will be touching it when the two mates are completed. As you can see, they will snap onto each other. All you have to do is press the check mark. Now we are almost done. We're very close. The only thing we have left to do is we want to align our gears here. It might be a little finicky. Don't worry about it. You want to align it as much as possible. It's not critical. It's purely visual, but I think it yields a good result when you can get it to work properly for you. Okay, that should be good enough. Now, the next thing you want to do is you can you can take your base back into frame here, and then we're one step from good to go on our assembly, that is. So we're going to click on the gear relation here in the top left, the two spokes. And then you'll see it'll ask you for two mates. I'm going to click on the two cylindrical mates we did at the very beginning. As you can see, if you highlight over it on the left, it'll highlight it for you. So we're going to click on cylindrical 1 and cylindrical 2. And you'll see here uh, the gears will be highlighted. Just press the check mark. And now if you move one gear, the other will move with it. It looks great. So that is our assembly done, but we want to do one more step, which is going to be the exploded view. So you're going to go over here to press this little button called exploded views. You'll see this little menu pop up. You're going to press add exploded view. You're going to click on each part. You'll see three arrows pop out. Just click and drag the one that you want to move. I will set these to 10 inches. Press the check mark. Click on the next part. Drag it out. Click it. Press 10 inches. As you can see, it's uh, the numbers I chose are pretty arbitrary. The main thing that matters is that the parts are all separate from each other. And it's clearly visible. And you can clearly see every single part. Now... As you can see, we have all our parts done here. All you have to do is press done. And now if you double click on the exploded one button, and look at that, you can see your exploded view. And that seems to be good. So, and that will conclude our, our little tutorial here. If you guys have any questions, feel free to contact me on my through my email or come to my office hours. And other than that, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.